Can't be disturbed. Let's get the food. Morning, Danielle. Morning, Izzy and Layla. You're loud. I can hear you outside of our not so well insulated house. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach. I'm the face and the voice behind the icon. And Danielle, my better half. My better, like, three quarters, actually. Let's just be honest. Yeah, three quarters at five, two. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of A Week in the Life of Us. Going to Danielle's work. Oh, I don't know what you said. I just heard my name. Oh gosh, Ella head. It's just, she's like, I know where we're going. You do. Ella, come here. You kind of know where we're going. I don't turn on any lights. It's dark, especially on camera. It's very dark. <laughs> so as we sit and try to work on a all in one PC that's got a whole row of pixels blown out. This is brand new, by the way. Brand new, out of the box, seems to be broken. This is our second time coming to look at it today. I ran a program trying to fix a couple pixels. It didn't do anything, so this is gonna go back to the company. Great. Which means we gotta switch over the computer that was here, we gotta put it back here. Goody, goody, goody. Um, but we did have somebody come to look at the RV, and they put a $100 deposit on. Hopefully they'll pick it up and the next week and we'll be done with that so that'll be cool there's danielle hi i'm seeing how many people love matt Pat. and there's ella i'm gonna work with this maybe a little bit longer and then gonna not do that anymore just gonna send it back all right i only got a couple moments of battery left as i start to roll down the road here it is time we are going to go and finalize the paperwork to sell the RV to sell Frankie. I can't believe it's been so quick. She's only been out on the market less than a week and somebody's already paying for her. We did post her for 75. Um, I actually know, kind of know the person it's being sold to. It's actually uh, the mother of somebody that I went to school with. Um, we weren't super close or anything, but it, like I know of them. Um, and we've decided that uh, We'll do 5,500 for her. My lowest that I wanted was three. So, and Camping World offered us $250. So let's just remember that. Camping World offered 250. We're coming out with 5,500. So we're gonna go finalize that. I'm not sure 100% if she'll take it today because she doesn't know where she's gonna put it because it's very large, but we will see. So off we go. One last look. There she is. Come on, Ella, up the stairs. One last time. It's a nice morning here. Morning everybody. You can tell falls on the way. We've got a lot to do on the car. The sun is not even over the mountain yet. And it's eight. So that's cool. Air's nice and crisp. But Elle's in here munching. Go figure. Um <clears throat> figured I'd fill you in a little bit on yesterday. I couldn't record more of an we sold the RV, Frankie, because there's like 3% battery left on you. Um, so yeah, she is officially sold. She's still sitting there. She's gonna come pick her up uh, later this week, but key's been handed over, money's been handed over, contract things kind of been signed. So it's kind of surreal, <laughs> you know? It's a big part of our life and it's the first time we've really sold something that's not been driven into the ground, you know, driven so long and and used up all of its life before we've gotten rid of it. So I hope this person uh, enjoys it. I think they're gonna be using it as their home, which she can do. Um, it just, it's a surreal feeling to think about today, but it's week two of 
teaching. I've got to teach today. So we're going to go down and do that. I've got a production meeting later on this afternoon. So we're going to be there late. So hopefully I can get a head start on a couple different things that I actually want to work on. But that's besides the point. Let's head to campus and let's just have a good day. Okay, so first class is done. Only class, actually. I'm going to move this way so I'm a little bit more in the light. Sorry, I think. Um, I was planning to go get a COVID test, but the mile, the line, it's like a mile long. So that's out. And uh, so now we're just going to do some work here. Uh, I'll get a COVID test a little bit later today or first thing tomorrow morning. We'll be here early tomorrow as well. It's just, you know, a lot of students are out of class and and getting it done, but we will get another one done. But now it's just time to work and first class, this was the first time we were really doing stuff. They were actually putting their hands on saws, they were doing the work, and I was just supervising, and that's just a great feeling to watch them start to learn to start to create these kind of things. So just overall really happy to, to be started in. Ella is too. And ground, because camera's on. Either way. That's what we got so far today. Let's see what's next. End of another day, Nug. All right, Tuesday's behind us. I am gonna come into work tomorrow. Wednesday's supposed to be my days off, but I got Monday off, so I'm gonna just do that. But I've got students standing right behind me in the middle of the road. Uh, that was weird. Uh, but yeah, so we are done and we are going home uh, Coming in tomorrow because I don't know I got stuff I want to do. I don't know. I gotta start prepping all the uh, stuff that's coming over here Which uh, get a little aggravated our scenic designer because they're not even gonna start rehearsing with anything until far into next week if not the week after um, so there's no reason for everything to be here now, plus I'm one person, and we're not starting cruise until next week, so, yeah. That's fun. Uh, I'll get it worked out. Just, you know, things pile up eventually, and you're like, really? Let's just calm down, take a breath. But, heading home, and gonna have a good dinner, and then I'm just gonna rest. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Enough of me rambling and just stalling for time. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Morning, Ella. And door open perspective as Ella crashes through my door. Thank you. I'm sure that that, that scratch will do me fine. Morning, everybody. I know you're only going to see me like half bodied, but it's what it's got to be. But morning. Can you already believe it's Thursday? I was going to show you a little bit of Wednesday, but Wednesday got a little messed up on my end. I had uh, come home from <clears throat> helping get the horses in because we're putting the lame horse, the horse who had the injury, back in with the herd and we wanted to put him in a <clears throat> closer stall so he didn't have to walk as far. That was the intention but he doesn't like change so after a lot of fighting with him he's just back in his old stall. You know, we, we, we tried but we're not going to do things that are dangerous to us. This horse is a whole nother story. But after that, I came home and I laid my head down. And about 7.30, I was like, you know what? I don't have a timeline. I'll wake up about 8.30 so I can head down to campus. <clears throat> I woke up at 10.30, slept through any alarm and everything, and I had a fever. I'm feeling fine today, tired of course. But I couldn't believe it. So we did not go down to campus yesterday. We did do a lot of work yesterday here on this end. Uh, it was just, it was interesting. <laughs> Let's go with that. But down to campus today, we're going to teach today. <clears throat> uh, then we've got some meetings with the prop selection crew. Uh, got a bunch of little projects that I want to do there as well. And then <clears throat> when we come home, uh, we go horses, then we're going to go to dinner with the ranch owner. And tomorrow we go to New York for Hadestown. So that's going to be interesting and you guys get to come.
Ella goes to New York 2021. She's already finished her food. Let's go. End of another day. Again, I'm only going 10 miles an hour here as I get off campus, but <sighs> it felt like a long one. Um, three o'clock now. I know I get the luck of getting out at three on most days, but heading out, heading home, do horses really quick, and then I'm gonna go out to dinner with ranch owner. She's paying me back for watching her dogs the other day. You know, it's just, it's a mutual respect thing, which I understand. I'd kind of much rather stay home and finish my lighting right up that I'm putting together because I feel like it's going quite well. Um, I'm not super, super worried about it. I've got to try to remember tomorrow to show you all what we've been doing in the shop so far. Obviously, for, you know, privacy reasons, I can't record during the shop and I haven't done any solo work yet, um, you know, of the work that we're doing. Um, I'm still waiting on a couple of people to, to give an okay on that. I'm not going to force anybody to do it. Um, but I do love to have a running catalog of what, what we've been up to. And uh, so hopefully I'll remember to show you tomorrow on the stuff that we've built so far. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to head down to New York tomorrow night. It's probably some junk food on the road and we're going to get going. But let's get through Thursday first, then we'll get through Friday. Oh, I'm also picking up a very expensive projector tomorrow. So there's that too. Yay! <laughs> it's on loan from Smith College. Um, that they're gonna loan us for the show, so I'm, I'm excited about it. And we just gotta buy a lamp. So, thumbs up on that. Heading home. Hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. I guess that's when you're watching this. So, you know, you act like I never let you outside. You know that? I think she's more excited for food than anything else. More power to you, Nugbug. Morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's Friday. We are going to be heading down to work. We got interviews all morning with student candidates for the work job program. And uh, I'm excited about that for the most part. It's going to be a long morning. And then... I will be going and picking up a $6,000 projector that we are being loaned from Smith College. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I am a little under the weather this morning. But we're going to go pick that up, we're going to bring it home, do the horses, then we're going to get on the road to head to New York. You guys see a little bit of New York in the weekly video, but I think we're going to make a separate Ella New York video. We'll find out, but time to head down to work, we'll see you guys there. All right, we're done with work for the day. I still have a mask on. I was just talking to one of my colleagues. But they just finished up, but I had to say, when I first came out, there was a cop here on the lawn, there was an ambulance there, and there's a fire truck in the parking spot next to me. So I wouldn't have been able to leave anyway. Uh, but it looks like somebody had gotten injured here. So already taken care of, but we're gonna head home. We had interviews all day today, and I think I got my candidates. We will find out, but right now I'm an officially on semi-vacation mode. Work is not traveling with me. And uh, we're gonna just figure this out as we go, but feeling pretty good. Still waiting to hear back about my COVID test from the other day. But hey, it's time to get ready to head down to New York. Danielle, what are we doing? Tightening a bag. And now magnetic it back. Okay, so there's the dog. This is much more interesting than step by step of bag closure. Um, there's Nog. But what we're heading off. the cruise line bag? Anyway, continue. So we're heading off to uh, to New York, and Beast is in there whining because he's so excited to see his grandmother. Off we go. Okay. So we're Broadway! Hey, down. Way down. Hey, down. And copyright claims. Yeah, I'm sure that sounded so accurate that they're gonna come after that. Oh, they get anything. How many letters was that? Yeah, uh, there was a P. <laughs> There's a P in it. There's a P. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they try to make it look fancy with like the fish on the wall. Mosaic. The exposed conduit. The roughly seven foot tall ceiling. Like, look how tall Daniel looks. I still think. Do it on 30 seconds. Hello. 
Yeah, we will. We're riding down to the tower.